This video is part of my premium course, so if you like it, check out usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at Laravel View SPA. This is a starter project template for a single page app with View on the front end and Laravel on the back end, but it's all within one repo. So you can see an example here, and it's basically just a default installation of Laravel with the auth scaffolding, but set up as an SBA. So it has a lot of features, which we'll take a look at. And let's go ahead and install it locally so we can look at it. So let's scroll down here. Let's use Composer to grab it from the GitHub repo. Okay, and let's open that up. Okay, and let's make sure our database is set up and then we just have to migrate and npm install. So I already have a database set up on my local machine. It's called the same as my the name of the project and it's root and no password. Okay, and let's go ahead and migrate. Yeah, let's see if this works. Okay, and it's npm install everything. Okay, that's done. Let's take a look at it in the browser, see if it works. Laravel view spa.test, okay. And that doesn't work. We have to npm run, run dev or npm run watch. Let's do that. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so there is the home page. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features just to get familiar with the code base. So if you go up here, it's using Laravel 6. It's using view, obviously. So let me show you the main JS or the entry point. Resources JS, app JS is the entry point. And you can see view being initialized here. What else? View router. You can see a router being imported here in the router folder. And you can see some config options for the router here. But more importantly, you can see the routes here, which is all the routes for the application. Mostly just the auth stuff. And we'll take a look at adding a route and a page in a second. It has Vuex for state management. So if you go into store, you can see some config here for Vuex, but it is using modules to separate it out into different files. And you can see the auth module here. And you can see that the user and the token is being stored in state. Okay, what else? View i18n for localization and different languages. If we go to Lang, we have the JSON files for all the translations. We'll also take a look at this in a second and some ESLint rules. So yeah, if we take a look around, it has some animations too. It has a progress bar up there and all this OS stuff that Laravel has with its OS scaffolding is now done as an SBA. And let's just see the localization working. So if I change it to Spanish, this works. Cool. So let's go ahead and register a new user here. There's also an option to log in with GitHub. If you look at the real site, if you log in, there's an option to log in with GitHub and that's using Laravel Socialite, which I also have a video on and we'll take a look at that later on. So I'm gonna close this and let's just register a new user here to see everything working. And you can see the login page, sorry, user, user at user.com, say password, password, register. And there is the default page when you log in. And we also have this settings page, which just lets you change your name and email and also your password. So similar to Laravel's auth scaffolding, but now on the front end in view. So yeah, let's go ahead and just add a page here. Uh, I just want to add it here just to see the workflow. So 
This page, I believe, is called welcome.view, similar to welcome.blade in Laravel. So I think it's in, should be in pages. Yeah, so there it is. And you can see the router link here. And this one goes, if you're logged in, it goes to the home. But if not, then you see these two links here. So let's add an about link there. And we'll add a route for that as well. So let's change this to about. We'll add that route in a second. So this is for localization. We have to add that key in the languages as well. So I don't have that yet. So I'll just say about as a key, which is fine for now. So let's go ahead and add that page about view template. Let's just say, let's just put some text here and by default, there is a default layout, which you can see in this layouts folder here. I believe it's this one called default, and it is using Bootstrap. You can see all the styles in, where is it? SAS, right here. So we added that, that page, and now we just have to add the route in our routes file. So let's go in here. Let's just add it underneath the welcome path is slash about name is about and it's uh, about dot view okay and that should be it let's see if this works okay there's the about page if we click it does it work and it does cool and there is our page so this menu is separate from this menu that's why it's not showing there and yeah, this is working because it's just uppercasing the key. But let me show you how to add it to the language files. And let me show you how that should work. Actually, let's just add it here to this menu as well. This one over here. So let's see if we can add it here. So let's go ahead and find where this lives. I believe it's in a navbar component here. Yep, this is it. So it should be down here somewhere, right here. So we have login, register, and we're gonna add about here as well. Okay, and just say about, and change to about as well, okay. And refresh this, cool. And now you see that it's just spitting out the key because it can't find it in the languages file. So let's go ahead and change that. So that would be in the lang folder. And then we can just add the key here. So let's just put it up here. So about, and let's just say about. And we have to add this to every language file. So Spanish, whatever Spanish is, just say ES and Chinese, I don't know Chinese, so I'm just gonna say CH about, and now that should show depending on the language, so let's refresh this. There we go, works for English. Let's change it to Chinese, there we go, and let's change it to Spanish. There we go, cool. Let's go ahead and quickly add a view library here, just so we can see the workflow for that because it is a bit different than a view CLI app. So I'm going to use this one here. Uh, it's just a tooltip library. So let's install it here. So I'm just going to npm install it. So let me just stop this for a sec. Let's install it. Okay. And let's run my watcher again. And if you look here, this is the way to install it normally. And we'll still use this. So let's just copy this. But if you look at our folder structure here, we have a plugins folder. So if you look at app.js, the main entry point, you can see that it's importing all the plugins. So you can just do it in here, but since this exists already, let's just do it in here. So you can see an index file here and it's just importing all the plugins. So let's go ahead and add a new file here for the vtooltip.js. And let's just paste that in like that. Okay, save that. And that should be it. 
we also need some CSS for this specific library. So let's just grab all that. It's just uh, this. So I can put this wherever. I'm just going to put it within the component. I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to put it in the about page we made. So about that view, let's just put it in a script section down here. Okay, and let's just paste that CSS in. And now to use the plugin, let's just grab an example here. So let's just grab this one and let's just hard code a number in there. And let's see if it works. So let's put it in our about view up here. And let's just paste that in. Okay. And I think we need to close it and just say count and just hard code three. Okay, see if this works. And this goes on the about page. Cool, I have to refresh. And that doesn't work. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to add it to the index.js here. I have to import it here. We have this already. So we made this and we have to import it in the index file. So let's import, let's just do it under here. V tooltip. Okay. And now this should work. So let's see if that compiled correctly. So that doesn't seem to work. I, okay, there should be style. I'm sure you saw that. Okay, save this again, see if it compiles. Okay, so this time it compiled. Let's give it a try now. So I'm gonna hard refresh. And let's go to the about page. And there's my button and there's my tooltip. Cool. So there's how you install third party libraries. So let's go ahead and add our own custom component after we log in. And all I want that to do is fetch all the users in the database and just display them. So, so I want it to be in here after we log in and just a component in here just so we can see the workflow and how to interact with Laravel. So I believe this is home.view. You can see you are logged in here and I want to make a new component here called fetch users. So let's add that fetch users and just close that. And let's import that. So we can do import fetch users from, I believe you can use the tilde and then slash components slash fetch, fetch users. And we'll make that in a second. And let's add a components key here. And let's just add that fetch users. Okay. Let's add fetch users here. fetch users view. Okay, let's make a template and say fetching users. Let's just see if this renders. Okay, so that compiled. Let's see if this renders. Okay, cool. So now let's add a script in here. And I believe we have to import Axios. And let's export default here. And on the mounted hook, let's use Axios. So axios.get. And the endpoint, I'm going to make it in a second, is just slash users, slash API, slash users. And it's called then response and let's just console log it console log i believe it's response that data and let's see if this works so as you saw this package makes use of vuex and all of the ajax calls are handled in there but for this demo i'll just leave it like this since it's just a demo 
So let's open up DevTools and see if this works. Okay, I'm going to refresh. And obviously I didn't make the endpoint yet, but it looks like it is returning the error message here. Okay, so let's make the endpoint in routes API. And let's just put it within this middleware, which is the auth middleware. So we have to be logged in to use this route. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And it's gonna put it in a closure here. It's called slash users. And I'm just gonna do return app user all. And that should work now. Let's give this another try. So there we go, we get this and it did work, cool. So yeah, if you use this package, you definitely need to get familiar with the code base. But once you do, it's pretty straightforward. That's if you're familiar with Vue already. So one more thing I wanna show you is this login with GitHub. And like I said, it's using Laravel Socialite for that. And you can integrate other services as well, but this one comes pre-configured with GitHub. So right here, we have to, it says you have to make a new GitHub application, which we'll do right now. And then you have to set the callback. So let's just go to settings. And if you go down here to developer settings, we can make a new OAuth app and register a new app here. And just say Laravel View SPA. And I've done this already, so let's do it again. Homepage, doesn't matter, it's just put something in there. And the callback. So it says what the callback should be in here. Where is it? Sorry, not this. Right here. And we have to change example.com to our URL. Obviously, this would be the production URL, but we'll just put our dev URL in here. So that would be Laravel View spa.test and it doesn't have HTTPS okay let's register this cool there we get our client ID and client secret we have to add that in our env file so let's add this right here and we need a secret as well Okay, and let's paste those in. ID, secret, okay. And that should do it, is that all? Yeah, that should be it, let's give it a try. So let's log out here and let's hard refresh. And there is the GitHub login. So now we can make use of this. Hopefully the callback works and it does. And if you authorize it, then it will grab the info from GitHub and make a new user on our app. There we go. And now we're logged in. And now we see two users here. We have the first one and we have the one from GitHub. Awesome. So there you have it guys, if you want to build a single page app with Vue and Laravel with some boilerplate code to get you started, definitely check this package out.